Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 22nd, 2022. My goodness, this month has gone fast, and there has just been so much uncertainty in the market. It has been quite challenging for a lot of folks with a lot of whipsaws, lots of uh, price volatility, um, tremendous uncertainty overall in the market. And unfortunately, we just had a wave of news last night that seems to be adding to that uncertainty. So what does that mean for our preparation for today? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's prepare for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, um, we learned that um, Iran and Russia are both working to meddle in the um, election process. We kind of already knew that Russia was out there meddling in, in the process, but now we've heard Iran has jumped in on it and creating some hate and discontent out there. Please remember, guys, even though there is uncertainty, and there certainly is concern about all the mail-in ballots and everything like that, Please don't allow that kind of news to prevent you from thinking your vote isn't important and that it should be counted. Get out, get those votes, um, um, get those ballots uh, filled out, get it done, get them mailed in, um, however it is that you're choosing to vote. Make sure you take care of that. That is our biggest responsibility, one of our most important responsibilities as a U.S. citizen. So please get out there and make sure your vote is counted. Even though there are those uncertainties and maybe it may be a challenging process this year due to um, virus impacts, but please make sure to make that effort. It is extremely important. No matter which way you go on this election, and just remember that um, that is our, our greatest opportunity to affect change. Um, so thoughtfully consider your vote. Let's um, take a look at what's setting up in the market today. And we also picked up some news, um, you know, overnight that well, we're still unsure about the stimulus deal. And we heard that we may have some other issues floating around out there in the market, creating some concerns. And we had a uh, IMF came out last night downgrading um, uh, global growth estimates for the economy because of coronavirus and the spiking coronavirus numbers around the world. So we had kind of a bearish evening um, in that futures markets. But so far this morning, they're trying to bounce off of those morning lows, trying to respond to, to some of the earnings events out there today. Today is our biggest day of earnings events so far this season. And um, unfortunately, we've had kind of a mixed bag of results on those earnings reports. Some of them have even come in very positive, but the stock has sold off. And I think that's largely due to the fact that we have overpriced so many stocks in the market that it's gonna be very, very hard for some of these companies to really produce at a level that um, supports these current valuations. So consider that carefully and just be really, really focused on this price action that's going to continue to be very, very sensitive to news events um, in the market. Any news about stimulus, any news about rising coronavirus, um, all of those kind of things are gonna continue to whipsaw and um, potentially completely reverse in about an instant the overall market. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. See what we can glean from this information. I'm gonna remove all of my drawings on here and let's just take a quick look. And let's make note that we are in a situation where we have really begun a downtrend here in the Dow. And that is a lower high that we could be facing here in the chart. The good news on this, however, is that we have yet to really break down through price support. We're kind of holding in here on price support, and we have a 50-day moving average down here that's just um, not that far away now. 
I suspect being this close to the 50 day moving average, there will be a draw by that 50 day moving average to pull us down to that level. Unless we get some kind of news on a stimulus um, deal here relatively soon, it would be kind of a surprise to me if we don't push down and maybe uh, test that 50 day moving average here in the next day or two. Um, so let's watch that pretty closely. Let's also keep in mind that we did break this uptrend and we failed right here with a pretty dismal looking evening star pattern. So the fact that we're struggling here should not be a major surprise um, at the moment, but we'll wanna watch this pretty closely as we approach that support, if we can get some kind of a deal. Now, I, I really kind of want to caution everyone as we head into this weekend, if we still don't have a deal heading into this weekend, we might see those bears become more aggressive. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your path forward here and we head into that weekend. Let's hope they get something done. We have a little bit more certainty in what, um, what might happen next week. Um, with a stimulus deal but please keep in mind that they're really struggling um, with this and they are still significantly far apart on that potential uh, deal so watch that close let's take a look at the spy um, well first let's take a quick look at those moving averages i wanted to point out that we have a 50 day moving average right here and so we're drawing so close to that, we're underneath our T line, which is the eight exponential moving average. We call that the trigger line. And we continue to put in these really unfavorable candle patterns here on the market where the bulls try, but the bears kind of take over, pushing things back down. So let's watch this closely. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the uh, market today retest the futures lows overnight. And that would possibly push us right down in toward that 50-day moving average. Now, if we can hold that as support and bounce off of there, we could be in really good shape. However, we're going to start to see some technical damage in the chart should we happen to fail below that 50-day moving average. That'll be the worst of the technical damage at the moment, and we'll want to take a take a hard look at that if that does uh, potentially occur. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also putting in those unfavorable candle patterns where we try the bulls push and push and they try but they just don't have enough energy to hold it up and the bears come back pushing us back down leaving some pretty un favorable candle patterns here on the daily chart. That 50 day moving average being so close in here, it would not be at all a surprise to see us push down toward that. In fact, just a, a retest of the overnight lows in the futures might push us in that direction. So be careful here today. We still have these lower highs. We have some un so much uncertainty in this market. Um, be careful over trading and just realize that we could see really quick whipsaws, complete reversals on any news report. Um, makes it pretty dangerous to trade right now. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ doing virtually the same thing. Now this does have a little bit more of a price support level here ahead of that 50 day moving average test. But let's keep in mind that so far, some of these big earnings reports um, in that tech sector have been just kind of hit and miss. And um, we have elevated the this index so much that some of these companies may have a difficult time um, proving that they can support these current prices, even with a good strong report. So kind of take a look at that carefully and don't be too surprised if we do see a test down here um, in the very near future, particularly if we do not get some kind of a, a stimulus deal. Now, holding this price support, if we can get that stimulus deal, if the market gets what they want here, we could see a bounce off of this level and that would really improve things on all of the indexes, that bullishness and those higher lows coming into the market. So hopefully that occurs, we'll just have to wait and see. And then IWM has been remarkable remarkably stronger, um, holding up above some key levels of price support here in the chart. Um, we're going to want to watch that closely. If this can bounce off of this level, we may actually see IWM become one of the front runners in the market. And there may be reason for that just because um, 
<clears throat> the giant stocks have kind of been overpriced. There's not much value in those giant stocks at the moment. We may be seeing small caps <clears throat> Picking up energy because there's a little bit more growth opportunity in those small caps, more value there than we might be seeing in some of the big, uh, big stocks out there that have run and run and run real hard so far this year. So watch that close. Looking pretty good here overall. And if financials and oil sector can start helping out a little bit, um, we could see that perk up even more. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX continues to be very perplexing. Once again, yesterday we rallied up um, in here on the VIX with a little bit of fear, testing that 200 day moving average and then rejected that level in the chart. Even though we pulled back in the market yesterday, we continued to show that rejection of that 200 day moving average. So we continue to be bound by our 50 day moving average down here and that 200 day moving average above. And I think we're just waiting on a stimulus, uh, news on stimulus. If we don't get a stimulus deal, watch that VIX potentially spike. If we do get stimulus, we could sink down and finally break down below that 50 day moving average here on the VIX. Watch that pretty closely. One thing that's very uncomfortable as we continue to push around here in this market is that we are so elevated on the this VIX. It's making it very, very challenging in the price action. Let's take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, this has been one of the best indicators here lately of showing us those oversold, overbought conditions. And what it's showing us right now with this back and forth in the market is the market is really just kind of straddling the fence. We're right here in the middle of the range and the market just doesn't know what comes next. And so we've kind of ground ourselves right back down into this middle range. And what that tells us is that we have if we get a stimulus deal, we do have plenty of room for the upside to move and, and get that nice bullish move should we satisfy the market with a stimulus deal. However, if they fail to get one done, just keep in mind that we also have an equal opportunity to shift substantially lower. So keep a close eye on that and we're going to be very news driven i think around that stimulus so watch that close this could whip either direction be careful not to over anticipate one direction remain flexible and remain focused on that price action that could shift very quickly on a news report let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and we do have some things that we're going to want to pay attention to here this morning and one that i'm actually rather concerned about um it, it may be unfounded concern but let's take a look here um remember last week i mentioned the fact as we headed into those jobless claims that we were starting to see so many companies adding to layoffs that um, we might see that number start to trickle in. Right now, consent, consensus is expecting a lower number than last week on our jobless claims. So if they're right, we could see that help us bullishly in the market. However, I think that may be a little bit of hope, hopefulness showing in that consensus number. And if it were to come in a little bit um, bearish, we could see that have way some put some heavy weight on the market here if those jobless numbers continue to rise and in the void of no stimulus so watch that closely if that were to occur that could be a big number today to pay attention to existing home sales we know housing has been very very strong low interest rates are probably helping to drive that i would look for that number to remain pretty bullish and consensus is suggesting a a bullish number as well um, we have the natural gas report I wouldn't expect that to move us around much at all. We have a slew of bond auctions and a whole bunch more Fed speak as we go throughout the day. And we have the Fed balance sheet, which doesn't really matter anymore. No one seems to care how much debt the Fed puts on right now as long as they continue to uh, drive the market higher. Debt doesn't seem to matter. Drive the market higher, that's all we want to see. So watch those things closely today. Could have some major some major effects on the price action and the sentiment of the market. So watch that close. Now on the earnings calendar, we have our biggest day of earnings reports so far this season. And um, I'm not gonna be able to cover them all this morning. There is a bunch um, 
of, uh, whoops, a bunch of those reports. And so what I would want to ask you guys to do, if you want to see the full list of notable reports today, please go over and take a look um, at the morning blog. You'll find a link right underneath the title of the video. There'll be a link back to the morning blog and you'll be able to pick up on all of those notable reports this morning. Um, we have heard from several already this morning, such as LUV, LUV reporting this morning, their largest loss in history and record uh, record loss um, but that stock is continuing to try and hold up here this morning I think everyone's been expecting these ugly losses and we have several airlines reporting today uh, Alaska Airlines American Airlines um, will be reporting today and I think they're probably all going to be in that same um, same range. It, it, I don't think anyone expects them to be um, showing great results overall. We also have some oil sector um, areas um, reporting today, and these have just been dismal here lately. Anything in the oil sector has been ugly, and we heard today that um, the oil industry is warning of significant layoffs in the very near future coming as a coronavirus continues to impact that industry substantially and um, hurting the demand. And as you can see, um, Valero Energy reporting today, still in a major downtrend, not looking good overall. We'll have to see how that report really changes things. But watch some of those oil sectors are pretty ugly overall. We have a, um, a few other things that would be interesting today. Uh, Sam, uh, Boston Beer will be reporting today. Um, some of those... Um, stocks um, in in this industry have done really really well during COVID season and you can see very very strong upside trend here in SAM and as you can see we've pulled back here recently we'll want to watch that closely this is a pretty decent upside trend and we're coming back to test that trend as a price support so watch that it wouldn't be a big surprise if we got a good earnings report to see that hopping higher this morning so watch that closely we're also going to get some old stodgy companies um, big old companies that have been around forever mattel will be reporting today looks like it's um, pointing to a little bit of a move lower here this morning but keep a close eye on that we've been uptrending we've got some support under this price action so watch that close it may not be too bad a deal overall we're also going to get a few um stocks in the tech sector reporting today um, i think after the close intel will be a pretty interesting report to be keeping an eye on and notice that, that intel right here breaking above this resistance in the chart trying to hold that area and we've got a gap above that could potentially be filled so let's watch that close on that report whether or not they can come out of this um, strong or not. We also have several of home builders um, um, reporting today like PHM, uh, Pulte Homes will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that um, as they report and other industrials like um, um, not Mattel, um, KMB. KMB is the one I was thinking of. Kimberly Clark reporting today and you can see must have missed pretty badly this morning um, sending down. And that's one of the things we've seen. We've had such a mixed bag of results um, this year. Um, lots of back and forth. Want to keep an eye on FCX. Um, I ended up closing my trade on FCX yesterday ahead of this. Took a 20% profit on this trade. Just with that anticipation of earnings. And it looks like we're kind of flat here this morning on that trade. And last but not least, I want to mention Coca-Cola. Coke um, producing a pretty good result this morning and you can see popping up. So keep a close eye on that. Beverage company is doing pretty well overall during coronavirus. Let's take a look at some stock setting up guys. But if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Hey guys, I want to let you know that I will, there will not be a morning prep video tomorrow. Um, I actually leave just almost as soon as I get this video posted. I actually leave to go have um, a minor surgical procedure. I have a hernia that 
um, I have to have taken care of. So I will be kind of down for the count tomorrow. There will not be a morning prep video. Apologize for the inconvenience, but I should be back in the saddle um, next week. So I want to wish you all a fantastic rest of your week and a great weekend um, overall. Now, some of the stocks that I want to point out here this morning that could potentially be setting up, please keep in mind, we're going to be very, very sensitive to economic news um, and, and any news on stimulus. So watch that closely. Any of these could whip around. Make sure you do your own due diligence and never, ever, ever blindly follow someone else's recommendation or idea on a chart. And by the way, these are not recommendations to buy any security. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that are looking pretty good. One of the things I want to point out this morning is GLD. Um, gold um, could start to see a little bit of a rally. There was actually a story last night that we could see some significant devaluation in the US dollar over the coming months. Now that would suggest that possibility that gold could rise. And I've been kind of watching this closely, seeing that downtrend um, trying to break where we've got these little higher lows coming in here. We do have a price resistance, however, in this chart um, that we're trying to hold a support. So if we can kind of hang on to that, let's watch here. Gold may be starting to turn around and maybe recover. Um, and I'm seeing that in a lot of different uh, metals overall, silver. Silver trying to hang in there. Um, once again, it is struggling a little bit more here with its downtrend, but we've got those rising lows in there. Let's watch that closely. Silver trying to come back around. Um, we're also seeing it in that FCX, and I've mentioned this, copper. Um, and I think there's a pretty good story on copper with um, the potential future of um, wind power and all of the electric vehicles and uh, all of the home building out there. Copper should remain under pressure here for a period of time. So let's watch stocks and uh, copper indexes because they look pretty good. And then um, also I'm seeing some interesting stuff even in like Alcoa. Alcoa trying to rally off some lows. So these metals, it's kind of a, interesting to see them uh, beginning to rally. Um, um, Alcoa um, picking up, starting to look better here. We'll want to watch that. And last but not least, take a look at steel. Steel is picking up here um, and we're moving higher in um, X. So let's keep an eye on some of these metals. They're really starting to show themselves um, and trying to pick up and perform. Other stocks you might want to keep an eye on. Um, a, a real disappointment yesterday. Um, Space had a really ugly day yesterday. Might be trying to catch a little bit of support here this morning, but this is a very volatile stock. I still think it's worthy of keeping an eye on in here if it can hold this price support. If we continue to fail on down, though, be careful with this. This one could turn into um, that sell-off uh, mode. Um, so watch that closely. Space had a pretty ugly day, and I'd mentioned that yesterday, and it's the only reason I'm bringing it up today. Take a look at some of the retail. Retail stocks holding up well. WMT, you can see I've had price alerts on this chart, and as this continues to consolidate over to this area, Watch for that opportunity for that upside move here in the chart. Keep an eye on stocks like CRWD that have now substantially broken down. We may find a little bit of price support in here, but some of these stocks that have been high flyers may easily become that short trade. Wait for a little rally back and a failure at a price resistance point for a potential short. We could see a little bit of both sides of that market starting to come in, and that's why I'm pointing out um, these both sides that are available here in the market right now. Watch LB. LB continues to hold up here pretty well, um, holding into that price support, chopping over toward its trend. If we get a little bullishness in here, LB may soon take off. We've seen Nike and Foot Locker be very, very strong. They continue to show lots and lots of strength and support. Um, other retail out there like Costco showing lots of strength could be setting up for another leg higher. You'll want to keep an eye on that. Also keep an eye on some of these automotive companies. Ford has been looking really good, showing some strength, popping through some resistance levels and staying rel relatively strong. Keep an eye on that Ford looking good. I would also, with that 
earnings report today, Coca-Cola spiking up. We might want to keep an eye on this, holding in on that trend. If that can pop above this resistance in here, there'd be some upside potential in Coke. Keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty good overall. So there's a few stocks, and I apologize I've run long this morning. Uh, just a, uh, another reminder, I, there will not be a morning prep video tomorrow due to my uh, surgery, but I want to wish you all just an absolutely wonderful re remainder to your week be careful out there remember we could we could experience really big whipsaws and complete um, overnight or intraday reversals based on news driven events around stimulus so just be careful on how you approach the market today and be careful over trading it i want to wish you all a fantastic weekend and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have a good one everyone